Hi and welcome to my channel, my name is Magnus and today we're actually going to add some licenses in R81. So if we check here under gateways and servers, we can see that we have red X's here. And the issue with this is that uh, we have no licenses left, so we actually need to add licenses. And Jim from Checkpoint actually pointed out that I, I did miss this tab. So there is actually a license tab here to view your existing licenses on your products. I did play around with this a bit in the, this morning and I didn't like this feature. Uh, it doesn't work like I expect. Um, I normally use central licenses and uh, I found no way to actually use central licenses or to to like download all the licenses in one file and put it on the management station like you did in the old days. So if you go in here and you want to add licenses, you actually need to do it as single files. You can still have them as centralized management, but you need to download each and separate each license as a separate file and then add it in here. If you add it as a single file, it will actually only be added on the gateway and you cannot add it on the management station and then like attach it to the uh, to the gateway. So if you want to do like a single file and then attach back and forward, then use the old way to do the licenses with um, uh, manage licenses and packages. Um, I, I don't like that way either, but it's, um, well, it works better than the new way. Maybe this will change uh, later on, but for a big environment, this is, uh, well, this is not very good. But uh, I will show you anyway how to do it. So in this case, we have our two licenses here. So we will do licensing and we will just add it to the management station IP. And uh, I will do central licenses because you should do central licenses. This is our management IP and uh, HP Gaia license. And this takes a few minutes and then you get the next one same license and i do the security gateway all container so let's hope that works and here we need to get the license file so get the license file and normally i do this one download this as a single file but if i did do that well it doesn't work or i get i get strange error message and uh, well I think they need to add some Jumbo Hot fixes for R81 to really make it work. So let's download one by one. And let's do the eval. So now we have both the license files. And let's go back here. So then you go to, to the gateway itself and you do this license tab and then add file. I actually didn't figure out how to do it as a string because I have central licenses and if I use central licenses, well, I need to add it to the management station, but then I cannot attach it to the gateway. So it's like moment 22. So license and then here we see the expired license and we take add file and it will be the top ones. Uh, you see here, I did try before, but well, so we take this one open and it should import and then it should say we have changed the permitted course meaning you actually need to reboot the gateway if you lose your license but i will show you one more thing just so you can see like what actually happens when your license expires so if we take this one for example and i will say like this if you buy like a, a real license and not an eva license it will not change your course and so on because the firewall blade um it's normally a perpetual license uh, if you're doing cloud, well, then it will limit itself. But uh, for appliances and so on, the, the firewall part is perpetual and you will not lose it. I mean, if you don't have support, you cannot upgrade and so on, but at least you can uh, you can still use the firewall part. Uh, if you do like this, general license, you see arrow with three blades. Let's see if we can see the how we can do that. We do monitor maybe. Yeah, monitor. So here under license status, we can see here that the firewall is not licensed. And this one, you see this text here? 
uh, let's see. It's more, let's say, that the firewall blade you don't have a license for, and the policy will be kept, but you cannot reinstall the policy. And it's same with like application control and so on. But uh, let's add the file. So go back to gateway number two, gateway number one, I mean. Uh, we did add a license here, perfect. And we will add the license to this one as well. File, and I guess it's, which one did I take? Ah, it's eval, it doesn't matter. It will say if it's uh, already in use, then you will get an error message. All right, so now we have the new license. We can actually remove the old one just to clean up the system a bit. Let's see if this one will figure out that it actually has licenses or if we need to install the policy or something. So remove. If you want to see the old way how to do the add licenses, it still exists in R81. It's under management and licenses. I will put the video up here for it. So let's see, warning with two blades. So it's going, it's going better, right? Let's see. So let's start with just installing the database. See if that makes any difference. It shouldn't do, but. So while we did install the database, uh, we actually got changed to yellow. Uh, so that's, I guess it's good. It's still warning. Database in use. R81 is not really finished. So um, I have gotten a lot of these error messages. Keep in mind, I'm on the first version with no Jumbo hotfixes. So this is to be expected if you want to run the brand new software. It's not the EA, but it's, um, well, it's only for production if you're willing to, um, to get these caveats, especially when you're using new functionalities. And this license part is a new function. So let's see if we can install the policy. If we can install the policy, well, then the licenses are uh, correctly, so to say. Um, let's see, we do the access policy first let's see if it will work hopefully it will get green then and if it doesn't recognize the the, um, the license it will fail maybe we can log into the gateway itself so we can do like this uh, dot two CP leak print 7th December. Yeah, it has a license. It's uh, successfully installed the policy. I mean, this part will change to green and then we are done. All right, so now we only have uh, yellow and it's still a warning. So if you want to check like what is the warning regarding, well, you just press here, warning with two blades. And in our case, it's about to expire for both IPS and antibot. So that's why. Um, I mean, we should get new license, but we didn't put on the threat prevention. So just installed with threat prevention as well. Or maybe we should do it separate. I don't know. Let's try. Maybe it fix its... Uh, uh, license for the two, well, IPS and Antibot. So it's success successful. Uh, let's give it a few minutes and just see if this will change to green. Now it's only one blade, so it's going the right direction. Let's see which one is still complaining. Uh, Antibot is about to expire. Well, I think that will be fine. It will figure out that it has a license uh, eventually. Now it has figured out it has an, a license here. So let's see in, um, in this part if it actually figured it out. 
All right, so now everything is green. So uh, just give it some time after you have added uh, the licenses, try to push the policy and um, it will figure out that it has new licenses because keep in mind, you add the licenses on the management station. So it needs to be sent out to the gateway itself. So what do you think about this license part? Is it the correct path to go? I think so, but I still think it needs some work. Keep in mind, this is the first well, release of R8 to 1, that is GA. It has no hotfixes whatsoever yet. And, well, the documentation regarding this feature, it exists, but it doesn't really say how you can use it. And, um, well, licensing within Checkpoint can be a big topic. Um, it should be as easy as possible. And it is... a it is very easy if you have real licenses and you have internet access for your gateways, then more or less it will fix itself automatically. So if you accept like syncing between the user center and the gateways and management station, if you have internet on them, well, then it works. And as long as your user center is correct, everything's fine. But for me, that has a lot of gateways and a lot of management station and not all of them have internet. Well, it's a big hassle and it, it is a hassle today as well. So it's a step in the right direction. And I hope that the more and more feature like this will come in future Jumbo hotfixes. So that's it. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next one. In the next one, we will fix this issue. So currently, we have some Jumbo hotfixes to install and we will do it in the GUI in R81 because it's a new feature using the central deployment tool built in within R81. So thank you for watching, take care.